What's going on, my Zodiac Legacies, my Capricorn Legacies? Uh, yeah, so I got, I really got the intuitive sense to do your guys' reading today. Uh, with that being said, I'll go ahead, I'll pull cards, I'll do the Celtic Cross, Celtic Cross, clarify, and then give some advice if need be. With that being said, uh, let's go ahead and shuffle the deck. I already pre-shuffled it, but I'll do it one more time. I'm actually going to turn two more times in front of you. Oh, three, two more? Okay, so three total. Ooh. Let's see what flew out. It's so long. All right, so I'm seeing judgment popping up for you guys. Uh, justice. The devil, the devil card, your energy, death. I'm seeing some major arcana cards popping up. Um, yeah, see, so we got judgment at the bottom of the deck. All right. Here, guys, angels, what is the current energy for my Capricorn legacy? Okay, so we got the magician as your current energy. with the Six of Swords as your opposing force, the root of the cause, the Six of Cups, the past, the Four of Cups, we have the Page of Wands, the Two of Pentacles in the future, Capricorn, who are you, who are you, Capricorn? You are the tower. What are your external influences, Capricorn? You have the nine of wands with the hierophant as your hopes and fears. What is your final outcome, Capricorn? What is your final outcome? What is your final outcome, Capricorn? Okay, yeah, like I said, we got judgment. At 36 years old, you have the star in reverse. You have the ace of wands. With the six of pentacles. The king of wands. And the ten of pentacles in reverse. Okay, so these are the cards that you don't see coming as far as that your energy your reading goes, is what I'm hearing. And also at the bottom of the deck, like I said, we have death. Okay, that your reading just got really heavy right now. Uh, okay, so as I mentioned, as I briefed you, I told you some major arcana cards were going to pop up. You got the Magician, you got the Hierophant, you got the Tower, you got Judgment, you got the Star in Reverse, and then at the bottom of the deck, you have Death, as I briefed you. Okay, so intuitively, I'll give you what I'm getting out of your read as of right now, and then I'll go ahead and clarify as I go along. So you have the Magician as your current energy. When the Magician... All right, so as your current energy with the magician, I'm hearing you have, you're definitely standing, it's like you're harnessing your inner power, you have all the tools in your recovery, okay? It's like you have all the resources at your disposal. It's like you're using everything you've learned in your life and applying it in your life skills, Capricorn. I'm definitely seeing you standing in your own power, taking power back from the, from the past, even even today in the present, it's like you're walking, you're marching to the drum set of your own. It's like you're mar you're marching to the beat of your own drum set. Okay, as your opposing force, Capricorn, you have the six of swords. So I'm hearing. It's like you're very codependent. You're very attached to some situation. Some I'm hearing more so this is in a relationship. There's some truth coming in in regard to the relationship. 
Uh, it's like you're, it's like you guys are super codependent. It's like wherever you go, they follow, he or she follows. Please take it as it resonates. I do see travel coming in as well for you, Capricorn. At the root of the cause, you have the Six of Cups. I'm, I'm hearing like this, I'm hearing that something is being handed down from generation to generation, okay? It's like, it's this is like being handed down from your father, from your mother. This may be a business. I'm hearing this, can, this is in regard to some type of construction design, a winery. Um, definitely something in, re in relation to crops, like the fruition of a, of a crop, a crop, a farm. Uh, something that requires or deals with manual labor. I'm envisioning like this beautiful, like brick castle, like home vineyard. It's like I've, I'm 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 seeing you grew up in comfort. You grew up in comfort of luxurious comfort. With the past, you have the four of cups. You have a lot of cups in your reading. So like I feel like this is. I I'm seeing it's. It's almost like you're resistant to to this being handed down. It's like I'm hearing you're grateful, but at the same time, you're almost like you're like, it's almost like you don't want to follow in the same path as your parents or as your generations prior. It's like you want to make your own decisions. You want to be independent. I'm seeing someone of like in their early 20s. It's like they're you're being offered like, something that i would say like most individuals uh aren't given the opportunity to but you're most more so like in this like ratty state of mind or like you're like no well i don't want to do this like this is you like, but i'm seeing you coming around okay with the page of wands i see you coming around standing i'm seeing you coming around it's like you're like you're gonna negotiate some type of turn, like you, like I'm hearing you're saying, like okay, like I will follow on this path, on these footsteps, but on these terms. With the Page of Wands, it's like you're standing your ground. You, you're speaking up for yourself. With the Two of Pentacles in the future, I do see some type of partnership. I'm, I'm guessing that this is in regard to this uh, company or business. It's like you're you're tied in to like through blood, through family. For you, you are the tower. I feel like you're at this breaking point where you're about to like, it's like you hold everything in Capricorn and as a result, it's like you're about to blow up. Okay, it's like you're about to blow up. You're about to take off. You're about to set off on someone. It's like you're gonna hit a wall. You're gonna hit like something, something that causes some type of havoc, okay? It's like you're being struck by lightning I'm seeing this is more in regard to anger. I feel like this is for a Capricorn that has anger issues with the external influences with the nine of wands. Again, I feel like you have a group of people, a group of people or community surrounding you, but it's like you like to venture off. You like, you love solitude. You love being on your own. It's like you're holding on to what you believe in, what your values are in life, what your morals are in life, regardless if they're in synchronicity with that of your family. It's like you're standing your ground, you're moving forward with the wand that you choose to use. And with good reason, because as your hopes and fears, I'm, I'm seeing this being as your hopes, is the higher fit okay with the higher fit you have a, a higher level of intelligence of intel of intellect you're like more aligned with uh the sp your spirituality you're having a higher level of commitment to self it's like you're dedicated and committed to achieving what you desire in this world to be and then we have a judgment and the star in reverse as your final outcome. So with judgment, I'm hearing that the divine is granting you, they're agreeing with your beliefs, they're supporting you, Capricorn. With the star in reverse, I am seeing, it's like you're doubting yourself. Um, 
it's like you you walk the it's like you talk the talk but you're not walking the walk because you're having this self doubt when in, in all regard you have the divine supporting you regardless of what say your family significant other or friends are saying you should continue on the path that you strive for and really turn this doubt into the upside position so that you can really manifest what you wish to have in this world with the ten of pentacles in reverse yeah i'm seeing the pentacles in reverse i'm seeing that this is in regard to this company that's being handed over capricorn or it's like you're coming you're partnering up you're coming into the swing of things with your family uh I mean, I feel like it's it's pretty straightforward. Like it's being handed to you, just like through osmosis because you're in the family. I'm seeing that this is coming from your father. And it's almost like you guys both have different views. I'm seeing you're more like humanitarian, like uh, while, they're like more conservative, like, you know, reserved. I'm seeing that they were, I'm seeing that your father as a result of this company was providing you with a constant flow of finances. It's like you were, you didn't really have anything to worry about. But with the 10 of Pentacles being in reverse, it's, it's almost in this offer. It's like, it's like I'm seeing or hearing that you're, what was it that you're turning this down it's like you're turning this down because you want to walk walk in your own path you want to do something different we have the queen of cups the sun and the nine of swords yeah so there's a strong uh there's a strong division between you and your father it's like your mother's on your side. Your mother is like suggesting that you follow like whatever you want to pursue in your education or work because she understands finding and doing something that makes you happy. But it's like you're in your head about this with the nine of swords. You're in your head about this. It's, it's almost like you're tied. You're being pulled by both sides by your you understand your father's perspective, but you but you like that your mother's supporting you with the eight of wands and the ten of cups. Regardless of what decision you choose, Capricorn, I do see a happy ending here. You have the ten of cups, so it's like you're gonna have that happy family that you've always wanted. We have the eight of wands. Yeah, so you have many options coming in. I'm seeing you have several options. It's like you're good at a lot of things. Like you, you can like really just go into any major that you choose. But I am seeing you are tied. Very, you have very strong family values. Four of Swords. Yeah, it's almost like you're almost just gonna like take a step back, and and see here with the Four of Swords. See if you get some type of answers from the divine. It's like you're, it's like you're just like standing still. You're stagnant because you don't know which which way to go. We have the eight of cups. I do see you taking off, Capricorn. I see you taking off. I do see you walking in your own lane walking on your own path. I'm gonna go ahead and jump over here to numerology and I'm gonna pull a past, present, and future and see what pops up for you. the past for Capricorn. Yeah, 
show the world the real you. This is in regards to the past full moon in Aquarius. Yeah, I like I was briefing you, I really get the sense that you should walk on the path that you choose because that's what, that's what the divine agrees with. What is the present for Capricorn? What is the present? The present is it's time to release negativity. Yeah, I'm hearing you. You're in conflict with this. Okay, I I feel like you understand and you know what path you want to go on, Capricorn. But it's like you're tied. It's like you're you're. It's like you might. You feel like you might be resentful. I'm hearing you're gonna be resentful if you like go on this path that you don't desire. What is the future? What is the future? Expect powerful change. New moon. You know, the your first card and your last card are the first time I've seen these cards when I pull cards from this deck. So I really feel like these speak volumes with show the world the real you, you know. Live in, a, live in honesty, be transparent. Like, what's the worst that can happen? It, you know, you just gotta release the negativity. You have a full moon in Aquarius, Scorpio. I feel like your father's a Scorpio. Your mother's a full is an Aquarius, okay? Because you also have Aquarius up here in your reading. And then you have the moon and the eclipse as the final result, which is expect powerful change. I'm getting the sense that your father is just going to come around and sit in and agree with your mother or your mother's going to speak with him and or your family's going to speak and come to a conclusion that they need to support you no matter what. Let me pull one more card for you. All right. The energy is gaining momentum, Capricorn. The energy is gaining momentum. Nothing yet is set in stone. Okay, like I said, you're kind of in limbo right now. Prosperity lies ahead. Hold your vision. Follow your vision, as I was saying. And yeah, luck is on your side. I feel like this is more so applied to the future with luck is on your side, prosperity lies ahead in the present with it's time to re release negativity, it's hold your vision, nothing is yet set in stone. And then show the world the real you is with the energies gaining momentum. So you also have the waxy moon, the fixed moon, the mutable moon. Yeah, I feel like Things were like pressed. It's like I feel like you're you were pressed on you. Like you, not. It's like your throat chakra has been closed off. But then you have the new moon in Taurus and the new moon in Sagittarius, on top of the new moon, the new moon eclipse. So I feel like as if the new the next new moon in eclipse is gonna create some significant change for you, Capricorn. All right. With that being said. I really enjoy doing your reading. It's pretty interesting. Let me go ahead and roll the dice for you. Okay, so you have five, six, and ten. So I would go ahead, type in five, six, one, zero into Google search and see what number, what message that angels type in. Five six one zero angel number or archangel number and see what message is in store for you. Also within numerology, you have 11, 1, which is 12. So you have So 
so you also have 12 on the side so you have 5 dot or 56 dot 10 dot 12 56 dot 10 dot 12 go ahead type in that into google see what messages the angels have in store for you with that being said thank you please go ahead comment like subscribe hit that notification bell so you get updated on my next video with that being said don't forget to live your best <laughs> legacy